Phrases versus clauses. Phrases and clauses are fundamental building blocks of sentences in the English language. They help convey meaning and provide structure to our communication. Let's break down what phrases and clauses are. Phrases. A phrase is a group of words that function as a single unit within a sentence. Phrases do not have a subject-verb combination necessary to form a complete sentence. There are various types of phrases, each serving a specific purpose. 1. Noun phrase, NP. A group of words centered around a noun, which can be a person, place, thing, or idea. Example, the big red ball. 2. Verb phrase, VP. A group of words centered around a verb. Example, she is singing loudly. 3. Adjective phrase, ADJP. A group of words centered around an adjective, providing more information about a noun. Example, the cat with the fluffy tail. 4. Adverb phrase, ADVP. A group of words centered around an adverb, providing more information about a verb, adjective, or adverb. Example, she runs very quickly. 5. Prepositional phrase, pp. A group of words that starts with a preposition and typically includes a noun or pronoun, providing information about time, location, direction, etc. Example, he went to the park. A clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, forming a complete thought. Clauses can be classified into two main types. 1. Independent clause. Also known as a main clause, it can stand alone as a complete sentence because it expresses a complete thought. Example, she enjoys reading books. 2. Dependent clause. Also known as a subordinate clause, it cannot stand alone as a complete sentence because it doesn't express a complete thought. It relies on an independent clause to provide meaning. Example, because it was raining, they stayed indoors. In this case, because it was raining, is the dependent clause. A clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, forming a complete thought. Clauses can be classified into two main types. 1. Independent clause. Also known as a main clause, it can stand alone as a complete sentence because it expresses a complete thought. Example. She enjoys reading books. 2. Dependent clause. Also known as a subordinate clause. It cannot stand alone as a complete sentence because it doesn't express a complete thought. It relies on an independent clause to provide meaning. Example. Because it was raining, they stayed indoors. In this case, because it was raining, is the dependent clause. Complex sentences. When you combine an independent clause with one or more dependent clauses, you create a complex sentence. For example, although she was tired, dependent clause. She stayed up late, independent clause. Compound sentences. A compound sentence consists of two or more independent clauses connected by coordinating conjunctions, such as, and, but, or, so, etc., or semicolons. For example, he wanted to go to the party, but he had too much work to do. Thanks for watching and listening. If you like my videos please like and share it and do not forget to subscribe my channel.